again. I have been meaning to make this video for about two months now. I know, tardy to the party, um, but better late than never. About two months ago, I believe on March 26, I was a part of a project for the Ladyfest launch. At this event, I was asked, mainly because I am the creator of Stop Hating Your Body, to be the live nude model for a live nude portrait painting. I was honored yet terrified. <laughs> it's a it's both a risky thing to do because of my um, experience with body dysmorphic disorder and also something that based on my past experiences with my recovery uh, could also be extremely beneficial and I found that the pros outweigh the cons and so I accepted the offer and I did it and I, I posed naked in front of over a hundred people while being painted into a beautiful painting which we're still tweaking a little bit now but it was the artist Yvonne Cordoba is incredibly amazing. I did have to be a little careful though with triggers. Um, when I was posing and people started walking in, I heard someone pass by and go, whoa! And that startled me. And right in that moment I thought, no, I can't be hearing these things. So. I put some headphones on under my hair so I wouldn't have to hear anything. I just I just didn't want to hear anything that would trigger me. And also you don't really want people commenting or yelling anything at you, which some people were trying to yell at me things and I'm and not not bad things, but you know, like you go girl, like they were yelling things. And the thing is had I not had my headphones on, uh it would have been distracting. I would have lost focus. In order to pose and be still and find that stillness, you have to be really focused and, you know, ultimately headphones was the best idea. <laughs> A big part of my recovery process was doing things that I was afraid of. And it was as simple as, you know, sticking around school a little longer, going to the beach in a swimsuit, um, I even pushed myself to go to a lingerie party, which I was a little wimpy about because I went in a teddy instead of lingerie like most of the other girls. These events were scary for me. The big one I remember, really big one, was just going to the beach in a bikini and I was terrified and on that day I was still terrified. I, I was in a bikini and the, my friends were playing volleyball and I wanted to play with them and when I would go to play with them. I would feel my stomach jiggle and for me when my stomach jiggled it was like an earthquake. It was the worst thing that could happen that my body shook and people saw and it was just the most scary, scary thing that could possibly happen. But the important thing for me was that I pushed myself to go through it and once I did it I felt incredibly accomplished. I was like, I did it. And the world didn't end. And I'm still here. And it's all okay. And I can do it again. And I can keep doing it until it feels normal. Until I'm not afraid anymore. Um, this is what works for me. The event itself was incredibly emotional too. Especially because I'm coming up on my 24th birthday. It's not until August. and. It will officially, I will officially be twice the age I was when I was contemplating suicide and I just saw no way out and I thought I was so undeserving of life and unworthy of sight, just completely worthless and I didn't know what I was doing on this planet and now I'm twice the age I was when it could have all been over. And I have come so incredibly far from that moment. And I just kept thinking about it because during the painting process, I would have my breaks 
and I would be outside among the people with my robe slash dress and people would ask me about it. It's like, oh, do you do you pose nude all the time? Uh, what inspired you to do something like this? And through everyone's questions, no, I don't do this all the time. <laughs> it's actually my first time ever doing anything like this. Um, and I got to, you know, tell my story to a lot of people and I just was reliving a lot of stuff and the more I talked about it, the more I remembered, the more emotional it became. The, the more I, just, I, was, I was sitting there still and focused and I was just, you know, internally vibrating with pride. Pride is the right word. Just I was so proud of myself and I really wished that I could go back in time and find that 12 year old girl and just hug her and tell her you have no idea what's coming. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. I actually want to make a series. I want to start answering some of the more popular questions that I get at Stop Hating Your Body. If you're not following Stop Hating Your Body on Tumblr, please do that. I know I know I'm not the best at answering every single message that I get at Stop Hating Your Body. I do my absolute best. But sometimes, you know, the questions are actually, I, I just don't feel right answering them. I, I don't feel like I'm the right person to be answering these questions. But I do my best. And what I want, really want to do now is, you know, get the most common questions and make a nice video series out of them, put them on my YouTube. Uh, so send all your questions my way. I'm going to round them up. I'm going to take the average question and I'm going to answer them to the best of my abilities on my YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe and watch out for them because they'll be coming up soon. I love you all. I wish you the absolute best on your journey and I will see you guys eventually. Bye!